Today what we're going to show you how to do is how to uh, take an image logo off of a website or something like that, resize it, and then upload it to your ProSun campaign. So the first thing that we're going to do is uh, we're going to use Paint to do this. And if you're not familiar with Paint, all you do is go to the Start button on your computer, go to All Programs, up to Accessories, and now down to Paint. And open up Paint. And now then, everyone's keyboard has a function on it called Print Screen. So all you have to do is uh, go to the Print Screen button that's on your keyboard. Usually it's located here. Sometimes it's over in here, depending on the brand of uh, computer. But go to the Print Screen button on your keyboard. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to a website that we want to pull the uh, information for the image from. And um, now we're going to press that print screen button on our keyboard one time. Press it, release. Now open up Paint. Go to Edit and Paste. And everything that was on that screen has now been copied into this Paint file. And now then, we go to the Select Image, which is right here. Press that one time to make sure it's open. And now we're going to select the information that we want from this area. But the image that we want in the ProFund upload needs to be more of a rectangle running horizontally. So what we're going to do in this case is we're going to cut this information from this image here. So we're going to select this. And now that it's selected, and it's actually been cut, put your cursor right in the middle of it, drag it right over here, drop it on the right, wherever you think it should be positioned as far as being centered. And now when you click over here somewhere, you can see that it's placed it there. So now we're going to cut the entire image that we're looking for. And again, I, I want more of a rectangle in this case. So I'm going to reach down here and I'm going to cut a little bit off of this uh, frame picture right here. And I'm going to cut over here. And I'm going to cut a little bit like so. And now I do cut. So I right click my mouse. Or you can go to edit right here. And go to cut. Now I'm going to do a file new. Because I want a new file for this. And I don't want to save this old image, so I just click No. And now I go to Edit, Paste. So now I've pasted that image into there. Now, it's important that my image be 300 wide, 300 pixels wide, by 150 pixels tall. My rectangle, and I just know from experience, I'm not quite at 300 wide by 150. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this corner while this is still active. And I'm going to drag this up here to what I estimate is to be about 300 by 150. And now I'm going to click on that. And, and it distorts it a little bit. And I could work with this and get it back and forth and do things with images and stuff. And, and uh, But just for uh, framing purposes, we're just going to drag this like so. Now when we snap the white area up against the image, we resize this entire image. And all you have to do is go to Image Attributes. And now that tells us that our image is now 272 pixels wide by 118 pixels tall. Now, it's obviously it's a, a little bit under 300 by 118, but we can live with that. Uh, we could also resize it and go back and repaste it if we need to. So now all we do is click OK. Now uh, all we have to do is save this image. So we go to File, Save As, and let's put it on our desktop just so we can find it. And save the image as a JPEG. JPEGs are a lot easier to work with. And now let's give it a name. So we're going to call this... Um, eyes wide and save it now then whenever you go into the profund campaign 
in your campaign administrator after you've logged in you go down here to view and update logo if we want to remove the logo that's on there all you do is click on remove logo and then click update and that's going to take that logo out now that's a logo that we've custom built and because um, we just wanted the image of the two kids and, and the name of the organization and the campaign was underneath that there's no reason for us to stack the image side by side with the logo and that would be somewhat redundant but if we wanted to all you do is click browse go to your desktop find the logo and so in our case there's the logo called eyes wide click that click open and that's going to open the logo uh, click update that's going to update the logo to the system and then it'll change your um, logo and image to the one that you see there then all you have to do is go in there and close your uh, paint functions and what have you and um, you're in business if you have any problems with it just give us a call